Welcome to another edition of Trin Bagel Vibes. In this one, we are taking in some old or traditional masks right here on the avenue. And oh yeah, we also checking out the Carnival Village for a little bit right there in the Queen's Park Savannah. Also in this one, but a little later down. Anywho, back to the avenue. And by the avenue, I mean Arapita Avenue, right? This is all thanks to Caribbean Airlines, who didn't sponsor this video by the way, but they hosted an event called Saturday in the Square. The square they're referring to is Adam Smith Square. Yeah. So at this event, right, which was between like 12 to 5, they had like food and some carnival workshops, which they call the hangar. And you know, in your typical Trini fashion, your boy kind of reached late, right? <laughs> Basically, I reached when everything done, yo. But, you know, still got me a Cal Banana or rag, which is a critical and essential piece of equipment for the road. You know, the jump and wave session, because this is the carnival season here in Trinidad and Tobago. Anywho, it's really the second half I'm here for. That part of the festivities that they call the runway. Yeah, well, the reason why I'm looking forward to this is the old mask, the traditional mask. You know, carnival characters such as the whistle-blowing Midnight Rover, which is based on the American Wild Wild West. So you better hit that like button or else. <laughs> By the way, we are only tackling some old mask characters in this one, but no worries, we'll do some more in the future. So make sure and subscribe. Moving on, we got the Blue Devils who originated in the hills of Paramin, where you know the traditional devil is brown or black. Apparently they didn't have those colors back in the days, so they improvised and came up with this blue color. Their job was just to invoke fear, you know, especially to kids as a form of discipline. You know, if your mother ever tell you, hey, if you misbehave, the devil will come for you kind of thing. Yeah. But anyway, it's still good to see the fire breathing and the tin pan, you know, on the road. Next, we have Dame Lorraine. That represents, you know, the rich plantation owner's wife. And it pokes fun of how those upper class was back in the days and how the women dressed and carried out themselves. Followed by baby doll character, who is essentially an unmarried mother with a child. Because you know, now back in the same back times, the 18th, 19th century, it would have been an illegitimate child. When I say back in the days, I meant in the colonial times, you know, when Trinidad wasn't an independent nation yet. Yeah. So another old mask character is Piero Grenade which is basically a French scholar with a cover or hibiscus whip. Speaking of whips, we got the Whip Warriors or Jab Jab next. I mean, you ever heard the tune, Pay the Devil Jab Jab by the late Shadow? Yeah, with those crackling whips, you had to pay them for them to leave you alone. Although Tassa is not part of the traditional mass, the fancy Indian masses. Big up Jagasa mass band, you know, from Sandu. Yeah, so thing. There's also the gorilla characters, which were very scary even when we were children and are still frightening to kids these days. So, yeah, this is just a taste of old mass or carnival here in Trinbago. Now, big up this Tambu Bamboo band. Yeah. This musical bamboo instrument was developed right here in Trinidad and you mainly hear it during like the stick fighting competitions among other things <laughs> and it's, I wanna lie, it's kind of epic to hear the traditional songs because it takes real skills to do this here eh? Now, let's finally take in the runway aspect from Caribbean Airlines. <laughs> I would lie though, this was entertaining and the color mass is kind of cool. Wait, wait now, that is a plain or a plain float kind of thing? <laughs> nice man. And well, we finally have the Moko Jombi, which has African roots, you know, to warn when danger approaches and to water people. Shout out my fellow Caribbean brothers and sisters and Caribbean Airlines for having this. Big up Tan Tan and Saga Boy, you know, Peter Minishel Creations. Boom. Alright, let's head to the Savannah, the Carnival Village, the John Cupid Carnival Village. Yeah, so you'll have seen me done traditional mass, and right now I am 
here at the John Cupid Carnival Village to see our proper walkthrough. Point Boy 12 did this already, and I'll leave that link in the description below. So, yeah, so we just come in to check out where you see now what's of interest. Yeah, so <laughs> this is the bat traditional carnival character, and basically, the person opens their wings and normally mimics a bat in flight. By the way, Trinidad has over 67 species of bats, just saying, eh? So, yeah. And now we have, remember we had um, fancy Indian before? Now this is traditional African moss boy, I'm not sure. Yeah, let me know in the comments below what you all think this one is. So I'm just giving you all a preview of the Carnival Village. Like I mentioned earlier, Point Boy 12 did a full walkthrough. But still, I still want to show you all these art places which was pretty cool look at this this is necklaces yo painted on one tenth and these shells actually are from mayaro these seashells yeah but look i tell you a one cent you know this is a tnt one cent and i think they stopped making this yeah that is rochelle's art check her out on the various socials some pretty cool stuff yeah next up we have keisha cooper yeah <laughs> her boot was all about vibes and frequency dread some pretty awesome pieces from our local artists here in trinidad and tobago and yeah this is the next boot at the carnival village there are a few other artists here selling their wares so i suggest you could check them out as the village is open to the public from 5 pm to 11 pm daily and admission is free so it's definitely worth a visit You know, if you've been watching Trinbago Vibes for a little while, sometimes we can't help ourselves if we see a doubles person about. I see country style, made on the spot, hot on the spot, doubles. And you know, your boy had to try it. The barrel was thin and chana was tasty. Could have probably been a little more tasty, but it was alright. And the barrel was okay. So overall, uh, decent doubles, you know. And now we had some doubles. It's time for dessert, just before the Calypso and Brass part of this video. And what better spot than a local chocolate spot? You know, support local peeps. This is MMH Cocoa House from Sangri Chiquito. And uh, so, we're not sure what we're going to eat here, but we're going to be surprised. But they're going to be either nutmeg, peppermint, or dark chocolate. I think we eat enough dark chocolate to know how we'll taste. This one is dark chocolate for sure. So this one is dark chocolate. Tastes really good, it's like dark chocolate. You can't go wrong with a 75% dark chocolate. Rare good. I love dark chocolate. Okay, this one, this one, this one, this one probably oh is the. Oh my god! Everyone is made it. Yeah, because I'm smelling it. I'm smelling it. There's a guy dancing out in the street. I'm talking about. So this one here is peppermint. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a fan of peppermint to be honest. But if you are, strong peppermint. Flavor. <laughs> Last one, this should be either not me or dark chocolate. Yeah. Again, I can oh, not make this with the dark chocolate. Tastes real good. Dark chocolate is good for you. And this is made with all local chocolate. So, yeah, can't go wrong with that at all. You all should check out the National Carnival Committee website on Facebook and stuff. They will let you know what events they are having here at the village itself. And today it had a lineup of brass and everything. I just had to tape and record a little bit of the prisons van. We had to take in some old school calypso, some you know, back in the days kind of thing. <laughs> and of course, you could tell from the crowd alone, it's an older crowd here because listen to this. But I saw the whole thing, let's see. I say, Melda, oh, you make it. I want the crew in the back. In the front. But you're cool, it's your man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you see, they know these tunes inside. Oh, yo. 
This is culture. This is part of the carnival season. This is the carnival village. You would have seen some of the traditional characters from earlier in the video. So if you get a chance, come check out the village. They will have, I'm sure they'll have something every night for you to take part in. And they have also all these little food places and art stuff that you could check out as well. Right. Hope you enjoyed that one. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Ah, go on. Later.